Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, K, man. I'm back with y'all with another video, man. As y'all can see for the title, man. I'm back with y'all with something a little different, you feel me? Mainly, I've been focused on weather, man. You know what I mean? I just dropped. Um, Actually, I got a video uploading right now. Part 2 of Joplin, Missouri. Real Time Tunnel Alley, man. Make sure y'all go check that out, man. Uh, it's uploading right now. Right as I talk, man, as I was uploading, you feel me? But, uh, but yeah, man. Uh, right here, man, we got, hey, y'all can see from the title, man. This video about to be a litty, man. We got the top 10 most dangerous water slides bro this shit's about to be lit bro i personally love water slides i love that's bro. i love going that's one that's literally the only reason why i like going to water parks but i personally don't like water parks bro because water parks be dirty and shit i ain't even gonna cap to you you know what i mean but that only if I, if I do go if i do end up going it most time is for water park i mean it's for water slides bro i love water slides man but right here man this is the top 10 most dangerous water slides man uh Y'all let me know in the comments some water parks. I, you know, I've always wanted to be, I've always wanted to travel, and, you know, and go to some of like these, you know, literally, I've always wanted to purposely travel just to go to like other like really crazy water parks, you know what I mean? Other crazy water parks. So y'all let me know in the comments some, uh, y'all suggest some other like water parks at, around the country, you know what I mean? I should visit or go to, man. So uh, y'all definitely let your boy, you know, in the comments, man. But right now we're back into this motherfucking reaction, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. Let's get into the video. Yes, sir. are safe but the water slides on this list will have you rethinking your assumptions here are the top 10 most dangerous water slides shout out to daily top Number uh 22 man insane the video brazil by. beach park brazil the insano slide is insanely steep and is located at the beach of Porto das Dunas in oh, no, Uruguay, Brazil. Man, too, the 41 meter high slide sends its sliders down a near vertical drop and into an exit pool below. The slide opened in 1989, and when it did, it was the tallest water slide in the world. Wow. The slide is not for the faint of heart, though. In fact, employees at the water park say that they enjoy watching the sliders panic at the top of the slide, and that they have even seen sliders cry while sliding. The ride is only five seconds long, but because it is so steep, some sliders lose contact with the slide and actually become airborne during the drop. Because the slide is so dangerous, sliders are instructed on how to ride the slide. They must remain on their backs with their arms and legs crossed. The slide, which gives a great view of the Atlantic Ocean at the top, is no longer the tallest slide in the world but it remains the fastest as sliders can reach speeds of a heart pounding 65 I don't know about all that boy that's big cat boy that's big cat number nine the aqua loop at wet and wild gold coast australia the aqua loop is a near vertical water slide that sends its riders down a 10 meter drop and into an inclined pool during the seven second slide Riders can reach a speed of 60 kilometers per hour Damn. and can experience a G-force of 2.5. But as fast as hell for water slide, bro. The Whitewater West Aquarina relies on sliders achieving enough speed to make it around the loop. However, not all sliders do. A woman sued the park for $400,000 when she got stuck on the slide. She was Shoot. unable to make the loop and found herself stuck at the bottom of the loop. She pulled herself out through an escape hatch, but she experienced several injuries. Nonetheless, the Aqua Loop continues to be a popular, albeit dangerous, slide at Wet n Wild. In fact, the park itself is the busiest water park in Australia, and the eighth busiest water park in the world. Thousands of sliders ride the dangerous Aqua Loop annually. Number 8. The Black Hole. Wet n Wild, Orlando, Florida. The Black Hole Water Slide is an inline tube slide located at what is considered to be America's first water park. Wet n Wild Orlando is owned by NBC Universal and was founded by the creator of SeaWorld, George Millay. The menacing black tubes of the Black Hole look ominous, and rightfully so. The Black Hole has faced numerous lawsuits over the years, including a $1.73 million payout to a man who was severely injured in 1994 when he struck something during the ride. Part of the danger of the slide stems from the timing of the ride. It takes a two-person tube 23 seconds to complete the ride. 
However, the staff is told to send people down at 20 second intervals. Mm. This That's does not crazy. leave enough time for people to safely exit the ride before the next riders are sent down, making it a dangerous sliding experience. Number 7. The Steamer Slide at Calypso Water Park, Ontario. The Steamer Slide at Calypso Water Park, Ontario is a dangerous tube slide that has repeatedly injured its riders. In fact, in 2015, Calypso Water Park was facing 20 separate charges from injured people. Riders of the steamer slide sit on a tube, slide through a dark tunnel, and then spin around a bowl. However, when the slide was investigated, it was discovered that the steamer slide had developed a buckle in an area of the slide that was causing the tubes to flip over. The Technical Standards and Safety Act, which oversees Ontario's amusement park rides, accused the park of negligence, and of not having the proper equipment to ensure the safety of its I like how they got pictures of people and smiling and shit. And we talking about the, the, the top 10 dangerous rides, water slides. Resulting in a payout of $500,000 in damages. The sheer volume of injuries attest to the dangerous nature of the steamer slide. Number 6. The Vertigo Slide. Aqualandia Water Park, Spain. The Vertigo Slide in Spain's Aqualandia Water Park is the highest water slide in Europe and the highest capsule slide in the world. The slide, which opened in the summer of 2013, took two and a half months to build and stands proudly at 110 feet. The Vertigo Slide is actually two slides, the red slide being the taller of the two. Sliders stand at the top of the slide on a trap door, which is opened by an operator who presses a button. Once the button is pressed, the trap door is released, and sliders are plunged down a three-second slide where they can reach speeds of 100 kilometers per hour. The ride itself and the speed the riders experience is dangerous. However, the trap door presents its own dangers. In July 2014, the trap door failed to fully open, and a man was severely injured when he was sent through the partially opened trap door. The man and his injuries were attended to by park staff. But the slide was reopened a mere Needless to say, this dangerous slide made headlines in the news as a result. Number 5. Cannonball Falls Action Park, New Jersey. The actual Cannonball Falls water slide itself is not that dangerous. But at the end of the slide, sliders are sent on a 10-foot drop into the pool below. The fall of Cannonball Falls has resulted in countless injuries and was plagued with problems right from its opening. In fact, Cannonball Falls has the highest number of reported injuries of any water slide in the entire state of New Jersey. Sliders have reported shoulder, neck, and head injuries Bro, as first a result of, all, of the 10 foot I'm not going off no water, water slide that's letting me off like that. shut down like. the slide at one point, but despite numerous injuries, the slide remained open and sliders kept on sliding and kept on getting hurt. Cannonball Falls is located at Action Park, New like Jersey, what? which is notorious for its dangerous rides. It has been nicknamed Accident Park and Class Action Park due to the obscene number of reported injuries. Number 4. The Scorpion's Tale, Noah's Ark Water Park, Wisconsin Dells. Noah's that shit don't look safe at all. is a 70-acre water park with more than 50 attractions throughout the park. In fact, Noah's Ark is the largest water park in the United States. It is also home to one of the most dangerous slides in the world. The Scorpion's Tail is a menacing water slide where sliders are sent on a harrowing ride, including a 55-foot drop, a 70-degree angle plunge, and a 60-degree angle loop. When the slide first opened in 2010, it was the only water slide in the world to have full loop-to-loop -loop and was the first upside-down looping body slide. Although it is not the fastest slide around, sliders do reach a speed of 30 miles per hour while on the 400-foot long slide. They also wait in a coffin-like chamber at the start of the slide for the floor to fall out from under them. And when they do get to the loop, they are 27 feet in the air. The scorpion's tail cost $1 million US to build. And despite its dangers, it remains a crowd favorite amongst water slide enthusiasts. Number 3. The Leap of Faith, Atlantis Water Park, Bahamas. The Leap of Faith is a beautiful...
beautifully constructed water slide that sits on a lovely Mayan-themed temple. The Leap of Faith, though, despite its beautiful setting, has been called the scariest water slide in the world. The Leap of Faith, which opened in 1998, consists of a near-vertical 60-foot drop. And as if the drop weren't dangerous enough, once the drop is complete, riders are sent through a lagoon of sharks. Sliders, somewhat safe inside a clear acrylic tunnel, are sent whizzing through the lagoon, where sharks approach the tube. Some sharks are literally only inches away. The sharks, which are hammerhead and Caribbean reef sharks, swim freely in the lagoon as sliders swiftly slide past, praying that nothing goes wrong with acrylic tubing. Yeah, Number fuck that, two, boy. Hell no, boy. Schlitterbahn what the Water fuck? Water Park, Kansas City. The Verruckt, which no, is no, not with no sharks. For insane, was destined for fame when it opened on July 10th, 2014. It was the tallest water slide in the world at the time. The Verruckt, at 168 feet, cost a staggering $3.6 million to build. And although it did achieve fame as the tallest water slide in the world, it also achieved infamy, as an accident on the slide led to the criminal arrest of the park owner. A 10-year-old boy was killed on the slide when his raft went airborne. Investigations pointed to a number of unsafe aspects on the slide. The nets surrounding the slide were deemed unsafe. The restraints on the raft were deemed unsafe. And the ride should have had an unstop mechanism installed to prevent rafts from going airborne. All in all, the Verrucht was a dangerous slide that did not meet safety standards. It was shut down on August 7th, 2016. Mm. Number one, the Cannonball Loop, Action Park, New Jersey. Ain't no a park way. that is nicknamed Cannonball Accident Loop. Park is sure How you gonna have a water slide to go upside slide. down? Like what? And although Cannonball Falls at its 10 foot drop is one of the most like, dangerous If I'm not strapped to nothing slides, going upside down, I'm not getting on the ride going upside down. But that's a cat. What the most fuck? dangerous water slide ever built. One look at the insane Cannonball Loop, and you can see why this water slide could pose several safety issues. Cannonball Loop, which was an enclosed water slide with a complete vertical loop at the end, has a set of disturbing stories surrounding it. Before the slide was officially opened, the owner of the park reportedly offered to pay employees $100 to try out the slide. The employees suffered nosebleeds and numerous injuries while sliding. Furthermore, when the park owner sent a dummy down the slide, the dummy apparently came out the other side without its head. However, Despite these massive red flags, the slide was still open. Shortly after its opening, though, a woman got stuck at the top of the loop, forcing the park to install an escape hatch should it happen again. Needless to say, the Cannonball Loop didn't last long. It was shut down Man, by the right. advisory board on Carnival Amusement Park ride safety after only one month due to safety issues. Clearly one of the most dangerous water slides of all time, the Cannonball Loop has slid its way into the top spot on our list of top 10 dangerous water slides. Check out my previous video on the top 10 largest avalanches, and remember to subscribe for more top 10s. Hmm, that's it. Top 10 epic wave pools. That'd be a dope video too. Yo, that's cool. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That 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 third that last one, bro. It's like, bro. First of all, my nigga, like, who get? I'm not getting. First of all, I'm not getting on a water slide that goes upside down without me strapped to anything, my boy. Like, it's different when you get on a roller coaster. Like, I can get on a roller coaster upside down because you strapped down to something. You know, you safe. You got a seatbelt on, boy. You safe. You know what I mean? But with a water slide, nigga, you're going free. Like, you're not strapped or anything, bro. You just on your ass, on your back. Or you're not strapped to nothing. Like, and he talking about... And the fact that they put a dummy through there and it came out without his head. And y'all still open the ride is insane to me, bro. That's really insane, bro. Some of these... I'm not gonna lie. Some of these water slides weren't too... Didn't seem too bad. Like, the only two that I for sure would never get on is the, um, is the one with the sharks. Because, I'm sorry, anything can go wrong with that acrylic uh, tube going through where the sharks are at. Ain't they can go wrong with that. First of all, sharks are strong as shit. So, the motherfuckers could break that shit. I don't know. 
but I probably would never get on that. You know what I mean? Anything can go wrong with that. And then that last ride. Yeah, that's probably about it. And probably the steaming one too. The steaming uh, water slide. Probably not that. I probably wouldn't get on that one either. Just the fact that the thing flips. Like the, but yeah, uh, that, that's probably like the top three that I definitely for sure wouldn't get on. But uh, but yeah, man, I'm actually looking at this um dude's channel, man. Daily Top 20s, man. I actually like this dude's channel, man. Uh, like he got a lot of cool videos. Like I see this top 10 epic wave pools. Why like something to react to? You feel know I me? Mean? You know what I mean? So yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Shout out to Daily Top 20s, man. Uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, bro. Let me know in the comments for other videos like this y'all want to react to, man. I really, I actually really enjoyed re doing this video. It was really cool. I actually enjoyed doing this video, man. But, uh, but yeah, man. Uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, bro. And I'll see y'all next video. Peace.